Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Pogan Spoiler back again with another video and today we are doing a tactics video about the super super as per request from my viewers. We are going to see how to use this car to its maximum potential. So the super super is a fine car overall, however, I find the issue is that it's really tough to control, so I would spend most of my time, if you just got this car, you just only need to learn how to control it, so, uh, you know, learn how much it takes for the car to uh, drift, so as you can see, it does take about 2 seconds maybe for the car to completely halt and change its direction, so keep that in mind when you are starting with this car and I apologize for the lag and um, yeah you might see this lag throughout the video so yeah the first thing I would do is I would just spend some time learning how the car handles and then I would probably spend uh, most of my time learning how to drive sideways with this car because it will be it's pretty much the thing you should know about this car so as you can see, it drifts a lot, it slides a lot, however, here's what happens if I uh, brake and let go of the brakes continuously. So, first I turn my car like this, and then I just brake, I let go of the brakes continuously. And as you can see, I sort of move diagonally, or almost sideways, let me just get rid of this guy, there we go. So, as you can see, we can actually move in a diagonal manner and that can be pretty cool essentially you can use a front cannon as a side cannon and a flamethrower on the front here as you can see look at that side cannon and this is really awesome so you can do this and if you master this technique trust me you have mastered most of what you need to know about this car so uh, eventually you will lose speed you know, the whole braking going technique isn't, can't be that perfect, so after a while you will sort of slow down, however the idea is you can at least move sideways. So here, as you can see, boom, sideways, and I think uphill movement will slow you down more, downhill movement maybe not, but that's the main thing you should learn when you use this car, so that's the first thing. The next thing I would recommend is... Uh, simply to um, learn not to slide into trouble so uh, maybe by habit you will just quickly do this you know uh, handbrake turn however as you can see you still go a bit forward and you want this let's say here's this tree where I shot the trebuchet at so that tree let's say I got really close and I wanted to do handbrake maneuver you see I still took out the tree so if you get close to trouble so let's say um, this this tree where I pointed the railgun at. So uh, to avoid this, I would simply just try and break, right? I would try and break. I wouldn't actually try and make a handbrake turn. Just try and break. I think that would be the key to avoiding any close encounters. So keep that in mind. If you want to avoid pretty much any obstacle, you might have to break instead of doing handbrake turns. Other than that though, the Super Super is a really standard car, I would say, uh, you know, it handles fine, it pretty much, uh, okay, no, fine, we just mentioned the handling is what makes this car special, so, it's pretty tricky, as you can see, I just kind of went off that ramp sideways, and it just launched me way over where I didn't want to, and I kind of uh, doomed myself, and, you know, in terms of speed, it's fine, it's actually a really light car, so I think... Plus, because of the handling, if you got hit by a tank or something else, it might end up with you being uh, thrown away somewhere really far, so keep that in mind. And yeah, just to drift a lot, I would spend a lot of time first. I think you should practice by just getting the hang of the handling of this car, and then I would start actually using it, because the technique is a bit tricky, and it may take some time for you to figure out exactly how to use this car uh you know properly and that's about it so that's pretty much it for the car so we're just gonna play right now i'll show you most of the techniques i just taught you so we're gonna go over find some cars to destroy 
And oh, because it, uh, you know, it slides a lot, you can actually perform 360 spins as you're moving. So uh, that's an optional. I would say that's more of an extra technique. You don't actually have to use it because it's not super beneficial. Like, yeah, you can do this, but I don't think there's any point to it. You're like really limited. You're, uh, you can't really make a quick escape and it's a bit tougher to control your car. So, uh, let's see what we can do here. So I'll just boost all the way here. Can I miss that guy? Fine. Click those crowns and, uh, okay. That wasn't good. We'll just get those instead. And, yeah, like I said, um, this car just has really tricky handling, which also brings me to the point. If you play in a map that has, uh, you know, a slippery surface like in Sweet Fields, uh, there are certain spots where your car, if it uh, handles really tightly, it would actually end up sliding. This car doesn't slide more like uh, the same uh, physics count for all surfaces for this car. So. Uh, it slides on every single surface the same way, so no extra slide anywhere. Keep that in mind. Don't think that your car will slide more if you happen to get into such an area. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, it can be tough to avoid cars. So as you can see, when you uh, try and drift away from cars or tur make turns, maneuver turns, you don't turn tightly. As you can see, other cars have a better handling and uh, they can take you out more easily so i think this car i would say uh if you really master like if, if you're a, if you basically know how to drive sideways pretty much do most of what i did in this video you can actually use this car to its full potential and yeah as you can see you get hit by a heavier car you pretty much get thrown away so keep that in mind all right guys make sure to comment subscribe don't forget to watch my other videos and i'll see you later peace